Hello, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Um, where stories and other random things take center stage and imagination surprise above all. Welcome to today's video where I will be recommending things for this is my first part. It's gonna be divided into three, where I will be recommending uh reads and so on for after the Spanish love deception by Elena Armas. So I did do the review yesterday, so if you haven't checked it out, I will link it in the description along with a bunch of other things so check the description for links if there are reviews for um any of the things i am recommending they will be linked in the description and there will also be links for my other series if you're interested in watching those so they will be there make sure you uh, check the description for links before we start if you like my content um subscribe for more i post very frequently in the channel so you should hopefully be um entertained so yeah and also make sure to turn on notifications so that youtube can give you uh actual notifications since it apparently it hates creators and it makes us do an extra step even as a viewer so here we are so for today i'm recommending the first seven rec the first seven things i have 21 but i'm di i'm dividing them into three parts to make it easier and more digestible and so on so that is what i'm attempting to do when i kind of just separate these uh these videos into parts i'm trying to make them digestible and not make them super long for you guys <laughs> So let's start with the first seven and the first two recommendations I have are Red, White and Royal Blue and One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. Red, White and Royal Blue is an enemies to lovers romance um, surrounding the first son of the United States and the Prince of Wales. So this is kind of like an I described this as an alternate version where Trump didn't win and a woman became president. And basically, um, the uh, Alex, her son, it has a um, he has a an arch rivalry, I guess, um, with the Prince of Wales, Henry. And um, however, something happens um, that makes that forces them to fake a friendship and uh from there the love wins but what will happen when their uh, relationship is discovered um one last stop is okay so <coughs> we follow august who is very cynical she doesn't believe in miracles or magic or any such thing but then she meets jane in the subway and you know she has this like punk 70s look and so on and so forth and it turns out that jane is displaced in time she is from the 70s and basically got this place in time in the subway so now uh august uh is attempting to figure out where she came from and or like or how to get her back in time and what happened basically so time travel and romance isn't it beautiful the next two i'm going to recommend is again but better and better together by christine riccio um these are two other romantic comedies as well um which is great Again But Better follows uh, Shane, who goes on a study abroad trip to uh, England, or I think it's London. Yeah, London, maybe? Um, and she ends up meeting, um, and she ends up going for creative writing, even though her parents think that she's going for pre-med. So she ends up going there. She ends up meeting Pilot, who she really likes. Um, eventually, she starts falling in love with him. However her lie is discovered and she ends up going back to the united states and studying to be a doctor however years later she gets a second chance due to some magic to basically go back and relive her life there again and do something uh you know and do something uh and, and change everything basically do things differently 
that's what that one's about. Better Together follows, is basically Freaky Friday meets Parent Trap, and it follows these two sisters, um, Siri and Jamie, who were separated by their parents' divorce, but they haven't seen each other after they, in like years. So after they saw, they see each other in this Rediscover Yourself retreat, they, um, they hatch a plan to confront each other's prospective parent that they haven't spent the time with. So, yep. I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver is my next recommendation. And this one follows Ben, who comes out to their parents as non-binary and they're kicked out of the house. They move in with their sister Hannah and they roll in a new school and they end up meeting Nathan and Love Blossoms. Six is Camp by Elsie Rosen. So we follow Del, who basically um, has a crush on this guy. And this specific summer, he intends to win over this guy. So he changes everything about him and becomes this guy's dream guy. But how much is he willing to change um, to be to be part of this guy's life, basically become this guy's boyfriend. So we have now seven, last but not least for this video, Once Upon a Con by Ashley Paulston. Once Upon a Con is a series of fairy tales retold in um, the in in the fandom of space and with added romance to them. I mean, all of them have, have like a romantic thing, but still, these are all retold. Uh, we have Geekorella, which is a retelling of Cinderella, The Princess and the Fangirl, which is retelling of The Prince and the Pauper, and we have uh, Bookish and the Beast, which is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. So yeah, basically it's fairy tale meets fandom, and it's an interest, each, each of them shows in a different romance, and they're all connected. But they're all also companion books that you don't really have to <coughs> read them in order if you don't want to. I did, but that's me, so yeah. Anyway, these are my first seven recommendations. I'll come tomorrow for the next seven and Thursday for the other seven. And then I, I'll be back Friday with a review of Rebels Free. So I'll see you that tomorrow. Uh, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications if you enjoy the... Um, if you enjoy my videos um, and comment down below with any video requests you have. Anyway, I'll see you. Um, I'll see you next time. And until then, um, and consume stories.